Hi guys, when I code, I like to use my environment. What is my environment? It's ArchNX. It's Vim. So I decided to create a little Docker image. And I just want to show you how it works here. Essentially, sorry. Essentially, you download the project, you build the, the Docker file that I prepared, and then you, you put where your source lives. In my case, it's in the temp directory on my home, funny enough, confusingly. And then you just go make run. And I'm actually on a, a MacBook right now, a SSH there, and essentially have my environment. So let me just quickly show you a little, uh, you know, IDE project. Um, you would first go in it, go in it, uh, github.com, my name, your name rather, IDE proj, unknown, oh, sorry. <laughs> That's so easy. And then you would do something like this. And you would perhaps like, I don't know, um, do something like create a function, uh, add two numbers together, then you would like create the function where you would go A, B, take in an in, in integer, return an integer, and return A plus B. Something like that, right? So the cool thing is that, as you can see from my VimRC, is that, is that you can, um, I don't know, just Okay, there's a few things going on here in this in this Go ID. I know Vim as an ID very controversial. I like Vim Go. I like to use it as an ID. I don't like to use VS Code, except when I'm working with my colleagues. But I prefer the terminal. The terminal's so more flexible. I don't want to use an Electron app to to do my thing. So Control X Control O is the default bind in Vim Go to do this complete completion completion. I prefer to tab it to bind it to tab, but I'm just living with it, trying to live with it. Um, and then you can see some documentation there, what have you. I'm just going to shoot out the result here. So if I go leader, which is the backslash key for me, you can, it should just add them up. Is, it, is the answer four? Yeah, it is. Um, I also have little helper things like go tests. I've covered this in another video, but like if I run go test, as you see down there, it generates me some tests. And then I have like cool binds like backslash GA, and then I go into the tests, right? Um, and then there's other fun things like uh, go fill struct, which sort of open, fills out the structure so like, you know, simple, you know, one and one is two. Um, and then if I wanted to go back to the source, then I would run like go tests to see if everything's run, whatever. Go tests. Missing. Oh, sorry. It wants this annoying comma here. Um, but you can see I'm flicking between um, my source code, the tests, you know, just go test, I guess. Go test. Okay, whatever. It, it passed. What else is cool here? Um, I showed you GA. I can run it. Showed you that. Um, I, I got it. I got a bind for F12, which makes me go to the definition of the the source, which is quite handy. Control T to go back. I always find Control T a bit awkward. But anyway, I kind of memorized it. Um, another thing is that. A debugger like uh, you can see what's going on kind of if you press I think I've got it on F5 and if I want to set a breakpoint I go F9 you can see that there's a little arrow there then I press F5 to continue and you can see I don't know the result this you can um, configure the sizes of these windows I'll put I'll put the um, the help function in the bottom there, but you can you can you can basically debug. Press F five to finish. The bindings are I think the same as VS Code. I mean that's the idea. Like stepping is 
is F10. So yeah, that's it. Um, like a Go IDE experience, right? Um, in a Docker container. What else is there to talk about? I could have, ooh, I could have just used the leader T to, to run the tests. But otherwise, I think it's kind of useful. If you have any suggestions or comments down below, please. Otherwise, I hope you will be inspired by my Docker file and creating Arch Linux on a very annoying MacBook Pro. I mean, homebrews are so slow. Ooh. Now you can have Arch and a great Go editing experience using my, my little fun side project there. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a like.